Right, okay, we're gonna also to this, we are going to add, we're gonna cut about four or five tomatoes, yeah? Should have really put this in just before um, the potatoes, but we forgot. Let's move this out of the way. So you got tomatoes, you got chili, and you got um just put them all in. Oh okay, that's for the other. But anyway. Put that in there. Give it just a quick little stir. Try not to break the potatoes. Still on low. And next we're gonna put in oh, Coriander and chilli, not that many. So yeah, put that in there, mix it up. And to tell you the truth, you can add a bit of um, like curry paste, and not curry paste, but um, like a different sauce. You can add what you want really. Anyway, be right back. Right, okay, so I'm just, um, I just put some uh, hot water and just covered it up yeah so once it's like cooked down a bit just cover it up with as much water as you'd like obviously for the sauce yeah and give it a give it a stir and obviously the heat is still on low it's like a casserole almost and what's gonna happen is this water is all gonna just dry out almost well unless you want it saucy so leave it in there a bit. Oh, so what my wife's just done is she just put the heat up. So, we've, so once we've added the water, we just put the heat up a bit, yeah? Right, okay, because I like it quite saucy, we've just added water, just filled it up a bit more because it dried out a bit, which was five minutes ago. So we just topped it up again with water. And we've still got some other stuff to um, put in. Just let it simmer basically, just let it stew. Right. So at this point, obviously, it's still a bit low. The potato. Whoa, 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 almost dropped my phone in the curry. The, um, the potatoes have gone a bit soft. Obviously, yeah, we added water. Well, for me, I like it to be saucy, so that's why I added water to make it a bit more gravy. Right, so now we're going to add uh, fresh coriander. Right, a handful, quite a lot. And then some chilies, yeah? Just some whole chilies, it's like you don't have to, you can cut it, but I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to hot food, so we just stick it in whole. So for like the, the for the fragrance, all right, let me stir it so it shows like I cooked it. So, anyway, yeah, so you put that in, give it a nice mix as you do. Oh, oh, yeah got to say um, at this point or a bit before you can uh, just add salt to taste so if you feel like you know it's not as salty as you'd like it just add a bit more salt we put in salt at the beginning um, with the onions when the onions were cooking down but now we just added um, we're gonna add a bit more because it is less salty so we'll back. oh yeah I'm going to taste it, aren't I? I have to taste it, so give me a spoon. As you can see, that's the dough, the lentils. All we done was just add water and just put some tomatoes in there, really. I'll show you that next time, bro. So, um, hold on. I'm trying to look for a spoon. There's no spoons. Right, okay. So, get a little bit.
I think that needs a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna put you you taste it to see if you need salt. So we're gonna put in some salt as you can see. There you go. So about not that much, just cooking salt. So okay, okay, okay that's enough. That's enough. Whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. I miss if she likes to go off the handles a bit when adding salt. Shut out, mate. Two-handed spoon technique. One to stir and one to taste. Yeah, man. That's tasting pretty good, mate. So, anyway, put that in there. Shout outs to the wooden spoon, by the way. Gangster. Anyway. And then we just put the lid straight back onto it. We just let it chill on lowish heat. No, just another look. Yeah? So it's just simmering away. So, um, yeah, I forgot to say, just leave it, let it um, stew on for about um, another 10, 10 minutes or so. 7, 10 minutes, roughly. Cool. Right, so. Right, so this is the final bit. Anyway, it's on low. As you can see, it's really done. All you have to do, it's been about 10 minutes or so, about 10, 15 minutes. Give it a little stir. You can, obviously the oil that's on top, you can like get a spoon and just take it out like that. You just take it out and put it in a cup, it's up to you. But I think it's quite nice. So that's it. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Right, so finished product here. So obviously let it thicken as much as you want, but you're hungry dry so <laughs> And that's from scratch Mike. Not bad is it? It takes like over an hour though, so if you want you can put some more coriander on top. Don't put basil or anything like that. Or mint. That's quite oily. But anyway, that's how we Asians do. Cool. Done. Have fun. Enjoy, mate.